Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 161. Oh, I've been a busy Lunar New Year, so happy Lunar New Year's to everyone out there. Uh, I've been so busy for the past few weekends, but today is a Monday. And I'm going to try to read this and post this today. So, you guys see this? Happy Monday! <laughs> I am so exhausted. I need a day off of work. Is, yeah, is needed. So let's get started. Warning. This episode contains depictions of violence that may be upsetting for some readers. A warning in the remarried empress. This is going to be a wonderful read. <laughs> what are you looking at? Do share. Oh my gosh, I remember this now. <gasps> How did he know we were here? Uh, um, well then, excuse me. <laughs> I'll be seeing you later, McKenna. Love you. Ah, uh, <laughs> he ran off. <laughs> McKenna, take me with you. <laughs> My queen. I just remembered I have some urgent business to take care of. I must be off. At this hour of the day. Dun dun. Tell me. What is this urgent business? Uh, mm. uh. Honestly, my queen, you even lie with such elegance. Uh, this is uncalled for. <laughs> Did you know your demeanor becomes more dignified and cold when you're embarrassed? It's too cute. It's truly adorable. I love seeing this side of you. <laughs> what were you and McKenna discussing? I was just curious about your childhood. Why is he feigning ignorance when he must have heard everything? Um, are you upset? No, I'm just a little embarrassed. I was a mischievous as a child. And well, I had hoped to keep that from you. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. You were just a child. I'll share some stories about my childhood as well. <laughs> I bet you were a very well-behaved child. Uh, there had to be plenty of other ways to punish him. Why did she insist on having him painted? Perhaps his mother <laughs> disapproved of his antics but found them endearing at the same time. And so she wanted to capture that moment. That's my theory after seeing him like this. I see. I worried for no reason. I'll know I'll love our child, no matter what they're like. I think it'd be great if we had twins. Pardon? I like the idea of... Oh, tweet, tweet. <laughs> One of them resembling you and the other me. Or perhaps it'll be a mixture of both of us. Uh, my queen. Give me the painting. Don't try to have it secretly destroyed. You caught me. Handing it over <laughs> obediently. <laughs> That's right. I almost forgot because of the painting. But there's something I must discuss with you urgently. What is it? The King of White Mond wants to speak with me in person uh, and is currently making his way here. The Remarried Empress, episode 161. Well, then that leaves us with no choice as you must meet the king. I will travel to Willwool by myself. Besides, I'm the only one who actually has business there. But... Don't worry. I have Viscount Landre and a trans... Nation, National Order of Knights escort me. I'll return as soon as I ask about my magic. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire, it's very gloomy there. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you for helping me find my daughter, Your Grace. Your daughter. 
You helped me meet Viscount Latatio. But don't expect me to thank you again or pay you back. <laughs> I'm certain you only helped me for your own interest. Let me guess. You're going to tell me to pretend I don't know you from now on. <laughs> but he do but does my daughter know that? You're secret secretly giving other people information about her. Don't worry. I'll keep quiet for a price. You really are despicable. Uh, uh, uh. Go ahead and tell her. <laughs> I don't care. Stop. <laughs> Please. What a monster. <sighs> some people end up in prison with their daughter enslaved just because they committed some fraud. While others get away with attacking others just because they're nobles. I won't let you get away with this, you scum. My daughter is the Empress. She's the Empress. What he's saying? I have no idea. The problem will take care of it itself. A few days later, someone affiliated with Viscount Latatio is here to see you, Your Majesty. Uh -huh. I'm proud of the person you've become. Rasha. Her dad. Her real dad. My daughter. That's it? Oh my gosh, okay, so the Vilos was pretty much just that. Uh, Rasha's fake dad is on his high horse and was like, you know, give me some money. So, I mean, he's, from the very beginning, how they found the parents, like this fake parents, was that, you know, they were pretty much in trouble for something or they, they are the low class or they were in prison for whatever issue and that they were looking for their real daughters so they agreed with a price that they will pretend to be rasha's parents but now i guess they totally forgot rasha's not really her parents yeah they're not really her parents yeah and now they over here trying to bribe like okay well and now we get to meet rasha's real father like, I wonder what is he wanting now? I'm pretty sure every time someone comes to Russia, it's always because they want money or something that will benefit them. So I'm thinking money, land, a port, whatever it is. So you can't be like, oh my God, I, I'm sorry for what happened. I can't believe I, I, let, I let you go and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Something about him, it feels like he's a gambler. He looks like a gambler. <laughs> I'm a, that's what I'm assuming. All right, guys. Well, what do you guys think of this read? It's really short, but but now we're gonna know that Navier is gonna be traveling to Wilwil by herself, and of course she's gonna run into Sauvage. So I'm interested in what's gonna be talked about if they run into each other. So. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!